A wicked success. 66,000 tickets sold for the Tanger Center's first Broadway show. Plus, fans and alumni are heading to Greensboro for the greatest homecoming on earth. Greensboro is making a comeback after a shaky year during the pandemic. First, let's head over to North Carolina and t where homecoming is in full swing. WFY News 2's Jalen Gilkey joins us live. Jalen, I hear there are some popular events still on hold because of COVID. That is very true, but you could never tell by walking around and talking to students and staff here on campus of North Carolina a and t Now, the university will require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test for all on campus events this year. But the word that I kept hearing over and over was just excitement. And that is because most Aggies, myself included, are just glad that Jiho's back. It's that time once again. I'm feeling really good about it. I think that students are just excited to be back. It's been a lot of just Aggie pride, like true Aggie pride being shown this week. Although all indoor events will be cut down in size, students, staff, and alumni alike are excited to celebrate the greatest homecoming on earth. They will need to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test for all on-campus events. We're happy to say, hey, we wanted to present um, a homecoming experience this year, and we're fortunate that we're able to. Um, we're doing it a little bit differently. Um, some of our events are hybrid events. Um, COVID taught us that um, there's an opportunity for engagement um, for folks who can't be here. For those who are here, Student Body President Madison Wheaton has a message for you. We are still in a pandemic and we do still need to wear our masks. We do still need to, you know, encourage vaccinations. Um, but this is probably going to be our norm for a while. But, you know, enjoy it while you can. Now, today is just part of the Jiho warm up and many events are already sold out, but that does not mean you still can't enjoy them. In my web story on WFMYNews2.com, I'll link you to a website that'll show you which events can be live streamed. 